What's good Instagram? Drake Talks coming at you live with another video. Now today we're gonna get into something that was a question on an Instagram story. All right, so this person asked, shout out to Risner Vintage, what's up? Um, how to recognize sportswear if you're not into sports. Now for sportswear, I just look for any NCAA team. So it doesn't matter if it's Florida State, it doesn't matter if it's Ohio State, like a piece I have down on the floor that you can't see. It doesn't matter, as long as it's an NCAA team, D1, because uh, D2 is not as popular, D3, whatever. Anything you would recognize, Ohio State, uh, Michigan State, Iowa State, Iowa Hawkeyes, Oregon Ducks, like California Bears, you know, any of that. All that stuff is gonna be money, but you gotta make sure that these pieces are in good condition, and for the most part, you want them to be vintage. Now, I will show you some examples right now. So look at this, look at this piece I have right here. It's an Ohio State windbreaker jacket. Very vintage, you can just see that. Very cool looking. And you can just check the tags. You can just tell it's vintage by the tag. Like, I don't know this brand, but I know it's gonna be a good seller because um, it's in good condition, it's a vintage piece, and it's, you know, Ohio State. And it's a good piece to pick up. So this is something you wouldn't wanna pick up. Something you would not wanna pick up would be something that is just a basic t-shirt with, uh, you know, like a generic Ohio State branding across the chest. That's not gonna go for a lot of money. It's gotta be something unique, you know, weird, eye-popping. Well, it's like comparing this Florida State vintage 90s starter jacket to a t-shirt that just says Florida State. It's not gonna sell the same. It's never gonna be the same. It's all about what you get and, you know, how it looks. You know, unique or generic. Another example is gonna be this. This is a Georgetown Hoyas crew neck from the 90s. And you'll see this is a crazy looking piece. It's very nice. What makes it so special is that it's unique. It's not something you see all the time. It's not a generic symbol. Now, if it just said Georgetown Hoyas, you know, nothing crazy, it might be worth something, but it's not gonna be worth the same as this, you know, crazy design going all across. So just look for something that's unique, looks vintage, is vintage, like this one is made in the USA, and it's in good condition, and it looks cool. I mean, use also use like personal bias sometimes. Like if it looks awesome, can't go wrong, can't go wrong. Just trust in yourself. And finally, I'm gonna use this example. This is a Michigan crew neck. It is a very simple piece. This is something I still would pick up because it's a, it's a good solid crew neck and it's embroidered going across. So even if you don't like know about the Michigan Wolverines, if you're from Michigan, this is a dope piece that you would rock, you know? If I'm from Iowa and there's a sweatshirt and it says Iowa going across, doesn't matter who I am, I'm probably gonna rock that from from Iowa. And you know, it's a nice quality crew neck, no signs of stains anywhere, so it's nice. You know, it doesn't always have to be super unique, but it is a nice quality crew neck with a you know, pretty decent, cool logo. It's not just a simple branding. Just look for NCAA teams, D1 teams, and just some unique pieces, and make sure that they're in good condition, and you should be good. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe if you did. I appreciate you guys so much for checking everything out. Hope this answered your question. You know, go check out my podcast on all platforms, Drake Talks, I'm on Spotify, Google, Apple, all that shit. All right. Peace and love. Go hustle.